Welcome to the series on applying Google Apps scripts to solve your problem. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to retrieve data periodically using Google Apps script function and trigger. You can see here I have highlighted one cell called B3. Now with reference to this B3 cell, I am going to populate data that I am generating randomly. I am writing it on the next available free cell and I am so keeping track of how many values I have generated. So let's understand how to do it. So let's understand all these steps in detail. Let's get started. So let's understand what app script I've written. We go to extensions. We go to app script. So you can see here I've written my app script function called my random. So in this function first I am getting reference of active spreadsheet. From that I am getting the active sheet using uh, the object of the spreadsheet dot get active sheet. So that will give me reference of this active sheet which is sheet 1. Once I get that reference I am getting the cell range for this B3 cell. So I am getting what is the cell range for the B3 cell and from that cell range I am finding out what is the column number and row number of that. So for B3 column number will be 2 and row number will be 3. So I am getting those values here reference column number is equal to cell range dot get column and reference row number is equal to cell range dot get row. So I am getting these values. I am going to use these values in writing appropriate value here which is row number 2 column number 2. Now using these two values I am getting reference of the previous cell. I am getting the range of the previous cell. So I use function sheet dot get range and here I specify reference row number minus 1 and reference column number. Whatever I am getting as a row number for B3 I subtract 1 from that. So that will give me the row number of the previous cell. So I get that uh, cell range and from that cell range I am getting value of that whatever value is present in that particular cell that I am getting. So initially it will be empty. So I am checking that previous cell range dot get value. If it is empty, I assign zero value. If it is not empty, whatever value is present, you read that value and assign that value to my previous cell value variable. Because what I am going to do at every time I am writing any value, I am going to increment it by one. So next time when I have to write next value on the next free cell number. So I am going to use this in order to find out what will be the row number of the next available free row. I am finding out value that is present in the previous cell of B3. Now after that I am finding out where exactly I have to write the new value. So that is called I call it as a update cell range. So I take it as sheet dot get range. Now I use reference row number which will be the row number of B3 which is 3 plus what is previous cell value which is initially 0 and plus 1. So very first time when I am generating data I am going to write it on reference row number is equal to 3, previous cell value is 0 and 1. So that is a 3 plus 0 plus 1 that is 4. So I must write first generated data on row number 4 so that you can see here very first time any data should will be generated that I should write it on row number 4. So with this logic every time I will get reference of the next available free row. So I get range using this update cell range and every time column number will remain same. Now once I get that update cell range what I am doing on that cell I am setting some random value. I say update cell range dot set value math dot random so it will generate some random data and it's going to write it on that uh, free cell. After doing that since I have written one record I am going to increment the value of the previous cell by 1. For example it is 25 next time I am writing record on the next available free row I am going to make it as 26. So you might have observed that it's it's being implemented while I am making this video. So that is step number one. Now the next step is we have to call this function periodically. Now if you try to call this my random function directly from a Google Sheet, it's not going to work. So if I write here say my random, 
it won't work you can see here we are getting error we do not have permission to call set value function because using set value we may update any arbitrary cell so that's not allowed by any spreadsheet program so we can't use it directly but there is a way to call that function the it's called as a trigger so let me show you how to do that so we go to on the left hand side you see here icon with the clock you click on that trigger and you'll see option to create trigger I'll, i have already created trigger for this so let me show you what exactly i have done so if you go to bottom you'll see here option to add one trigger so you click on that you'll see one dialog box where you can configure that which function you want to execute as part of trigger so here i select my function my random because one function is available then next option i have to select is select event source so here i have to select as time driven and for select type of timer based trigger periodically i have to trigger it as a minutes timer so what kind of timer i want hour timer minute timer you can also see other options we have options as minute timers hour timer day timer week timer and month timer so i want every minute so i select minutes timer and here i'm selecting interval as every minute and just i click on save my trigger will be created and at every one minute the function will be executed so once you do this you will see that data will be populated here automatically so let me show how it works so i delete all this data and i also delete this so nothing is present and you'll you'll see that here automatically will get one value so let's wait a while so i'm waiting for around one minute and you'll be able to see value there so you can see here we have got one value and it, it has written here as one now next time it's going to write value it's going to write next value on this row number which is a uh, free row so using uh, google app script and trigger we can get, we can retrieve data from some external website so maybe in future we may we may collect uh, stock data from any external site for example we may collect data from google finance and we are going to periodically update uh, the current price in different cells and then we can do analysis of that thanks for watching and happy learning